Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia 5 Mark V and today I will show you how we can insert a SIM card into this phone. So, to get started, all you need to do is pop out the tray which is at the bottom of the device right over here. It is a toolless tray so all you need to have is just uh, semi-strong fingernails and you can just pry it out like so. Just to kind of showcase this, there is not much to it. And from here, we have space for either two different SIM cards or one SIM card and one SD card. Now, if you're planning to use two SIM cards, you'd place it right... Oh, no, never mind. So we just have a space for SIM card and SD card. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an SD card to occupy this tray with, so I'm going to occupy only the other side. So you can place your tray a card on the tray like so. Make sure it clips into place so it shouldn't be protruding anywhere. And if you flip it over, it should not be falling out of the tray at all. From there, you can insert it back into your device. It will only go one way, so if you put it in the wrong way, as an example like this, as you can see, it just won't go in. There we go. Once you insert it into your device, it should start working right away, but if it won't, uh, you can restart your device and this should then activate the card, which, uh, that being said, I don't think it's working right now because this SIM card does have a pin set on it, so it should be already showing up, but it's not. So I'm gonna reboot the device right now. There we go. And when it boots back up, it should at that point give me the SIM card pin, meaning that the card would be working at that point. For some reason, it's still not popping up. It should. In theory. So I'm going to give it one last try to see if it actually is already being detected. So I can do so by going into the fix and manage and uh, import from apparently no SIM card is being detected. Okay, let's take it out in this case. Okay, there we go. So something just happened where it didn't work. So as you can see now, it's telling me to put in the pin. So we didn't actually need to reboot the device for this to work. It's just something bugged out and it didn't want to bring up the, uh, or didn't want to read the SIM card from well, the beginning. Anyway, with this being said, hopefully you found this very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.